And what happens to a person with metabolic syndrome when they restrict carbohydrates? And would you say, for that matter, is that separate from if they specifically just lose weight? Um, well, th this is a, a, a point of discussion and perhaps controversy is wh what's driving improvements in a lot of these biomarkers? Is it weight loss? And there's certainly a lot of the uh, more mainstream uh, consensus uh, uh, followers that think weight loss is the stimulus. Uh, our position, I, I would say, is, is that it's more related to the carbohydrate restriction. And we have, again, several lines of evidence that point us toward that. One being all these markers get better when you follow a low-carb diet, whether it's a weight loss or a weight maintenance low-carbohydrate diet. That's probably the you know, most obvious uh, uh, piece of evidence that suggests it's the carbohydrate restriction having these effects. But we've also done studies where we compare low-calorie diets, low in fat and low in carbohydrate, but they're similar in calories, and we see that the low-carbohydrate diet wins out almost on every marker that you look at in terms of uh, metabolic syndrome.